Hi, we're on to lecture three. This is about wave information transfer and storage. So what's happening here is we really want you to understand the good and the bad of storing everything up in the internet, internet cloud. Could you see the Northern Lights on Mars? Why or why not? What do the Northern Lights have to do with cell phones? Well, did you know the current solar weather report is today? Do you know what's actually happening? This is from uh, the Matrix. It's talking about search and destroy. The electromagnetic field that actually surrounds the Earth has a great deal to do with how well our cell phones work, whether or not you have cell phone coverage at all, whether or not any electromagnetic field that we are generating can actually be get where it needs to go. Up here, you actually can see up here, you can actually see this. If you follow this link, it'll give you every 30 minutes the Aurora Borealis forecast. We had Aurora Borealis this last week in Maine. Uh, if you were following this, you'd see it every on a 30 minute schedule. And this can be feel very sci-fi, but it's actually a very real threat. This is the Department of Homeland Security Subcommittee on Cybersecurity Infrastructure Protection Security Technologies to order. The subcommittee will be meeting today to examine the threats of critical infrastructure proposed by an electromagnetic pulse. A single nuclear warhead shot off in the high stratosphere could give us an electromagnetic pulse that could theoretically knock out all of our electrical form, all your phones, all your cars, all of your computers, it basically pulses them, knocks them all out. And the idea is how do you make things tough enough to withstand something like that? This is a very real threat because 94% of our information is now digital. It's 1.9 zeta bytes in 2007. It's faster now. Now, have you ever lost a USB? These little things that used to plug into your phones or you plugged into your computer, they're little disks that used to have basically little hard drives, if you will, that you plug in. If you've ever lost a USB, you understand that it's hard to keep a track of digital information sometimes. How about a password? Have you ever forgotten a password? Well, you're no longer the, the most unfortunate person in the world. There's, I'm about to tell you the story of the guy who's the most unfortunate person in the world. So before we do that, I want to rate your Bitcoin knowledge. So give us a one if you think you know Bitcoin really well, two, I think I know it, three, if I haven't heard it or I haven't seen it, and four, no clue. Show of fingers. And here's the most unfortunate Bitcoin guy in the world. His lost password, he has $220 million worth of Bitcoin. It's in a locked box. That locked box cannot be opened. His ability to get into it, he has now got his iron key device. He's got two more attempts before his $220 million is completely lost forever. He can't get a hold of it at all. So maybe things are too secure. At the same time, police can get data about the identity, activity, and location of any phone that connects to any cell tower anywhere. This is a problem. It means they know where you are, what you're doing, and why. But before we freak out, was it better before? Was it better to have data down, hard drive data, if you will, only hard copies? So before you'd have to put everything in these storage containers, all of these things that are just rotting in, in real time. Uh, 10 years uh, was the maximum they could keep these things around because things would stock up. If you had all your x-rays in these individual cabinets, they had to get rid of them after a while to put more stuff in there. So that's how they used to store medical records. And of course, all of that confidential information would be very confidential because you couldn't find it because there's big piles of paper. I still have big piles of paper from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. It just piles up and it rots. So is the loss of security worth it? This is a great John Oliver tape that you should watch separately from this. Watch the, watch the slideshow. Go through my slideshow and watch this John Oliver tape because he's talking about the most difficult problem that we have with security at this point. Specifically, he's talking about a guy named Edward Snowden. And if you don't know who Edward Snowden is, you've kind of missed the last 20 years of cybersecurity. What you should know about the tape you just watched is actually the Snowden interview had happened before HBO knew it even happened. Snowden intended to lead Hong Kong travel. This is information that will helpful. People think that Snowden is this crazy guy, extremist, but he's actually not that way. What he wants to do, what he wanted to do is talk about a violation of the U.S. Constitution. So this Snowden guy really is a patriot in every way. The trouble is, is that he's being targeted by the NSA as being a terrorist. And here's a quote from Snowden, although the internet's a very much a troubled place, I think it's something worth fighting for and something they can improve. And this is how Snowden would actually deal with his own cell phone. And this is another quote from Edward Snowden talking about records, recording our lives for every time. And next thing we would talk about is what's in your pocket and what that matters, how that matters to the world. Thanks for coming. That's all I've got.